Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I want to add an entry to this journal, to EB's journal about Glasgow and um, yeah, so there's a few entries in it already. Um, I just love this journal and it's been a while since uh, we did anything with it. So I've got a couple of pieces of ephemera here. Um, I keep all my bits in this envelope at the start. Things that I gather along the way in our outings. And um, so I've got this from a coffee shop. It's a coffee shop which obviously also sells soup at lunchtime. That's really all they do, soup and bagels. And, uh, and I just thought I would uh, incorporate this into an envelope um, because it's kind of, well, it's a kind of coaster and that's a kind of thicker bit of cardboard. Um, it might be nice just to decorate an envelope and then I can just keep these things in it and write on the back of the envelope and attach the envelope to the journal. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> so we'll just set the journal aside for the moment. And I've got a few envelopes here because I think I'll do three or four. Um, just some easy collaging. Um, everybody, I think, has got a mixture of envelopes. These are just ones that are uh, just come, I don't know, from something in the mail or a birthday card or whatever. Or it's been in a pack of envelopes. And um, so I've got a wee mixture here. And I have chosen some bits and bobs to collage onto the envelopes. So, and then we'll use one in the journal and then I can keep two or three in my box for future use. So I've got my little bundle of bits to collage with. And um, yeah, so I thought we would add some music paper to this one because it's already got quite a brightly coloured um, border. Just make sure, yeah, you're with me. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had clicked the button there. So, uh, yeah. So I've got a little Tim Holtz label, a little ticket, um, a kind of washi sticker, and yeah, this wee label. And for my focal point, I'm going to use one of these scraps so i'm just going to clip off whoops shaky peaky right just hold it straight and then clip and then we'll tidy up those little white bits because i want this one here right let's put that over I'm trying to put it in a place not on top of things that i'm going to be using in a minute Otherwise, we'll get into our right pickle. So just cuddle these um, little tags off. Tidy it up a wee bit. I got these scraps in Happy Mail from Josephine. Hi, Josephine. And um, I have used them so much. I'm going to be sad when they're done. And they're all used up, right? should have got all those little bits in one place rather than have them all over the place. Right, let's tidy up that bottom bit. There. Still making it a little bit not straight which is good and um, I'm going to put them simply on top of the music paper there and then I think maybe something like that yeah Right, so let's start sticking things down. Reach for the glue. I'm just going to use my glue stick and I've got my old book here. So 
it's been a little while since I've made something, I think. I'm trying to think. No, the last thing I put on video was my flip through of my nature, my traveller's notebooks, the nature journal and a couple of other ones just to show you how my journaling style before before I got hooked on this style of journaling. Um, yeah, it's amazing how things can change for you. Um, starting off about 15, 18, however many years ago, um, making cards just because I saw um, a magazine on the shelf. Oh, that's already been used. We'll just, just let that stick together. Yeah, a card making magazine when I was browsing in the news agent, and I thought, hmm, quite fancy that. That might be quite a fun thing to do. And uh, here we are, <laughs> all these years later, having gone through making cards and then scrapbooking. Uh, not in big 12 by 12 albums. I was a little bit of a cheat when it came to my scrapbooking. I used simple stories, uh, ring binders with the plastic, you know, inserts that... Um, you then just slide your photographs in with these um, kind of uh, Project Life cards, journaling cards, and then you just date them and write where it, where it was and just want to push that over just to connect them with that so that it's all kind of connected. That's just the way I, I prefer to do that kind of thing. Right, now I think that's that for the focal point and the decoration. And I want to just add, um, I've got these clipping sticker book. And um, this is something that it can take so long to choose <sighs> no, I'm not keen on a black one I think the sweetest of memories that's nice layer up this again yeah the sweetest of memories and that's quite appropriate for maybe if it ends up in the journal right so we just want to maybe ink around the edges of this because take away some of the stark white I think on this one Inking round the edges is not something that I ordinarily do, but sometimes, depending on the image and the whiteness of things, I do think that it adds a little bit of something. Let's just do that little white bit there. There. Yeah, maybe we'll do the back as well, just for the sake of completeness. Just roughly, just to take away, just adding some shadow to take away the stark white. There, yeah. 
and I also have my thin liner pen, my fine liner pen, because I would have taken them to the sewing machine, but because I want to keep it as an envelope, I don't want to stitch, and I don't want to stitch three and not, the, I suppose I could stitch it with it opened. No, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to do some faux stitching just round the edge over the red and blue airmail stripes. Remember years and years ago when I was small and my mum used to correspond with a cousin in Canada and it was a thing that you had to have the, the airmail paper and an airmail envelope because it was all very much weighed at the time and it was expensive to send. Oh, that's nice. And so you used to get this and it used to, when I, when I was wee, think, oh wow, that paper's really thin. It was really thin, the paper. Yeah, okay, one done. We'll set that aside. So I've got this fancy envelope. This opens this way like that. It's already got a pattern on it, but we're going to maybe do something with that. And this time I have some bits and bobs. I've got a number, a label, another little thing, and I've got three mushrooms. And I've got this from an old book and I'm going to try and cut round that. I think that might be quite nice, just sat there. See, it must be Florence Nightingale. Florence discovered early in life how much she was interested in tending the small sicknesses of her pets. I think it's probably a, a kiddies book. Right, let's see if we can just quickly go round and cut Florence out. Not really paying much attention to properly getting in all the edges. Just maybe leaving the tiniest of border. And what I do sometimes is it's an awkward spot. Go back and do the fiddlier bits once you've cut out the main bit. Don't know if I want the shed and I don't. It would make it too big. So we will just it's not a shed, I'm guessing it's a kennel. Does anyone keep their dogs in kennels anymore? I don't think so. I don't think dogs get kept in kennels. Well, certainly I don't think not here anyway. The only kennels that I know about are the ones, um, the shelters, you know. Or if you're going away your holidays and you're putting your dog in a doggy hotel. Millie's booked into the doggy hotel for, Des uh, not December, November for Guy Fox because she is absolutely terrified of the fireworks. Such a shame. And we would rather have her way outside. It's away down the Ayrshire countryside, way in the middle of nowhere, on what used to be a farm. And uh, now we can go back and do that. And Slide that in there. Get rid of 
and his nose. So yeah, so she's booked in for there for November. You've got to book it early because it's very popular with people. Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? In the back with the background being quite bold because lots of people have dogs I'm going to just get that little bit out the three there yeah lots of people I sort of want the three to be facing in does the three just seem a bit random let's see what else we've got what we've picked out. I picked out this label because it matches the red in the background. I don't know why I picked out a three. Maybe just to make things a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, so um what was I going what was I saying? Oh yeah, so people do book their dogs in. Don't know about this now. There, it's better on the top, and then we'll put the label in behind. And then we'll just put our mushrooms somewhere there. Yeah, we could maybe put that up there. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So yeah, so it's quite popular. Right, so the first thing we need to get down is this. Where's my book? Because the poor dogs. Oh. And the thing is, you can't even guarantee that it will only be the 5th of November because people buy them and then use them either the weekend before so Guy Fox this year is a Tuesday and because it's a Tuesday and because the weather in November can be a bit hit or a miss to say the least People, if it's dry the weekend before, will just do the fireworks then. And so she's been booked in from the Saturday through to the Wednesday morning. And there's no guarantee that even on Wednesday night, at the day after Guy Fawkes, that there will be no fireworks. But You've got to just take your chances. Yeah. Now, do we want the mushrooms in the foreground? Yes. I'm enjoying just this nice, easy collage, cutting and gluing. There. Wonderful Florence's dog is called. Wonder if she even had a dog. And in a random little bunch of toadstools in a corner, why not? <laughs> it's it's journaling world. You're allowed. You're allowed to team up anything you want to team up, aren't you? I like to team up mushrooms with Florence Nightingale. <laughs> Who knew? 
and then we'll need to pick out a nice a nice saying for Florence or a nice quote not a saying a quote There we are. Now we might use the black this time because of the black three. Now that seems appropriate for Florence Nightingale. There is nothing like a dream to create the future. Listen to your heart. That's nice too. What seems ordinary is often all extraordinary. I think we'll go with this. Listen to your heart. It will show you the way. And it's a nice long one, so we can put it right over. Or I wonder if we want to split it. I think we'll maybe split it. Let's put the lid on the glue. Right, I'm going to put it directly on Florence. That's nice. Right, and then we'll do the same as we did with the other one, with the ink. Oh, and this is vintage photo I'm using today. on the back I'm not going to do the whole middle just go around the edges because when it comes to using it I might actually just stick on some lined paper uh, so that I can write on it or I might just write just on the middle there some faux stitching. I think so. I think it just finishes it off. This is Mitsubishi pin uh, to one zero zero five. So it's not it's fine, but it's not the finest of fines, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hubby's in the living room sorting through a box of wires, as you do. In fact, I think it's more than one box of wires. Hubby used to be a, quite a prolific gamer. He's had a PlayStation, an Xbox, and a SNES, and, and a Sega Mega Drive, and all the rest of it. But he doesn't really play anymore. And so there's, there's wires upon wires. That's nice, isn't it? Right, do another one. Let's do this one. And maybe we'll do this one up and down because it's always going to be quite big for a journal. Even for this big journal, it would be too big. So we'll need to do this one up and down the way. Yeah. So he's given himself a job. I want that to be on that side so that when I slip it onto a page, 
that can go onto the page like that and then open like that. So we want to have that on this side, on the right side. Yeah, so he's given himself a job to go through some boxes. Right, so I've got this little bundle for this one. This is the cover of a pack of caddy papers and it just kind of just fits. Look at that. And I'm just going to tear it from about there. If it's going to tear, then just kind of hopefully in a reasonable way. <laughs> That's not bad. Keep that for another day because it's great. I love that writing and stuff. Right, now let's just organise the side of me there. There, that's better. So I've got that. This is a Tim Holtz thing. These are all Tim Holtz things. I think I'm going to put that one up there. And then I've got this chap leaning nonchalantly. <laughs> Is that the right word? Maybe just a no more leaning on that and standing on that. And a random butterfly, I think. Just bringing it together, joining those two pieces. And then I've got this little label with the red numbers. And do we want it down here or up here? Just take enough, take away the blankness of that space. Or I think I prefer it down there, even although it leaves a space there. I think I'm good with that space. Yeah. Okay. So this down. So he's so far he's found six pairs of three D specs. <laughs> um five sets of ear plugs, not ear plugs, like these wee head, wee sounds, music, what do you call them? Earphones, but those little mini ones, but they're not, they're ones with, with that are joined with a wire now. Oh, that's stuck on there, that needs the bin. Um, you know, they're not wireless ones, they're old ones. So clearly there's stuff in this box that's uh, needing to be somewhere else in the recycling, I think. <laughs> right. So the first thing we need to put down is this, which is quite, I don't know, it's quite thick and quite shiny. I think it came in a pack of stuff. But it's got a little red too on it. So I'm going with a kind of theme of bits of red. And then I want his hand just to touch. I wonder if we should put that up a bit so that he's got something to lean on. And then we're covering up our well, we're covering up the red too anyway, aren't we? We should maybe have put that round the other way. Oh well, not to worry. We know that there's a red too under there. But I don't like that up there like that. I wanted it down here. Well, we're just going to have to nudge them down a wee bit and ignore the fact that his feet aren't actually on the ground. <laughs> I'm 
you know, I bought these people because, like, nearly everybody was using these people. And sometimes I look at them and I, when I use one and I go, yeah, I'm getting it. And then other times I'm like, oh, I don't know. It just seems a bit odd to use a person. That, um, because I've got my own old black and white photographs that I could be using. But these ones are all cut out and I'm going to have that underneath. No, otherwise you're using just a square photograph and it doesn't always mind you I suppose you could cut the people out I'm not sure in a, in a real photograph whether you could cut the people out it might be quite small I'll just overlap that a wee bit and nudge it along Right, and then up here, for a little opposite collage, a little smaller collage in the opposite corner, sometimes works, I think. We'll put that up there. Maybe should I put a little bit of twine or something through that little hole? Not to worry. I didn't really want to because I want it to sit flat. And then we'll put that there to just kind of join everything up. And let me just rub the sticky fingers and get the bit of extra glue off that. And then I'm just going to do the same thing, I think, around the edges. Oh, now do we want a seam on this one? I mean, a quote. I keep calling them scenes. Let's see. This has got a bit of black as well. Um, does he look like he's going on a journey? Embrace the journey. I think he does look like he's going on a journey because there's where he's going to put his coat in and the coat check. This has got railway company. I like it on the me the butterfly. It's a floating quote for the moment. Oh, we could have had him standing on the coat. No. Across the butterfly. Yeah. Right. Let's hinky winky. So Hubby's cleaning out the wire box, but he's also been um, taking the old games that he's got to a shop that um, buys secondhand games to resell. So he's been making himself a wee bit pocket money <laughs> with his old games. I don't know if he's going to buy a new game with the ill-gotten games, games, ill-gotten games, or if it's just, we're just actually decluttering and de-stashing all sorts of uh, bits and bobs. So he's been doing the same with his games. Right, and do we want little notches round this one. I think round this one 
we will do something different and we will do some lines and then maybe a wee zigzag. a bit randomly I don't want to do it in that section because it would be on that would bump into that bit of ephemera I've used. Yeah, I think going round the edge just kind of finishes it off, doesn't it? It frames it. So what have we got? I've got these three and what are we at? We're at the, how long have I entertained you? <laughs> 36 minutes or maybe you're not entertained. Well, you know, 36 minutes, I'm over the half hour now, so we might as well just go for it and go make a nice long video and do one more, because I've got one more ready. I've got this envelope here. Wanderlust, I don't know where it came from. And I have a few wee bits and bobs. This is quite an easy one, I think. This is from an old sewing pattern and someone many years ago has sellotaped this together so I think what we'll do is go for do we want to cover the whole Lot, or do we want a maybe from that way this time? Maybe from there, and we'll just do that. And then take that bit off. Out there. Wonder if that'll tear. It's not going to tear through that old cell tape. Right. it's really cool to find a piece of something that's got old sellotape. <laughs> now I've got this. Maybe put that up there. So about there. Together like that and then I've got these nice yellow daisies I've got a stamp with a yellow bird on it it's quite nice and then this little number which I think we'll put there yeah easy this one two minutes we'll get this stuck down I think this tube of uh, glue is maybe nearly f finished. I need to 
pick up a new a new one when I'm at the shops. Just be a wee bit gentle with this old pattern because it's already kind of ripped. sellotape come off there but it's left the the sellotape mark which is cool right now I want to incorporate that stamp with the leaf on the top and top of the flower so we will just glue I won't glue that leaf there just glue the center part So that I can slide the stamp under. There. That's pretty. And then this was going to go there, just at that wee join. Right, now let's see. Flowers appear on the earth. That's quite appropriate. Oops, sorry. And again, we will ink to be a wee bit gentle with that old sewing paper. It's overlapping a wee bit on the back but that's okay. Finish it off with our pen. And I think this one will do a bit of a longer line and a three dots. Why not? Be a bit fancy. I wasn't sure if the pen will stay on that um, old sellotape we'll need to give it a wee wipe with a little bit of something just to make sure it's because I have a funny feeling it's just going to rub off it doesn't it looks, it looks a bit shiny I think it's just going to rub off. Yeah, and we'll just take it off or else we will end up with ink 
all over the place. Right, let's tidy up a little bit and bring in what we've made today. So, yeah, they're nice. <laughs> They are nice. Let's see. Now, that might just fit, but I'm going to use one of the up and down ones. That one would fit as well, but I want to keep those two. Um, so I'm going to use, and what might decide it is, is this going to fit inside? just so I have a choice I can use that or that so let's find a nice page that we can pop it on Ah, oh, the kettle piece. Hmm, it could go on there. That might be nice because it kind of matches that background. But this is quite a statement as well. This could go on there. In fact, I could use two, can I? <laughs> right, let's keep that page in mind and see what else we have. Here's quite good. Uh, no, I think I liked where we were here. And we will just decide. We will use one. And I think we might just simply use that one. Although I do like this one. Oh, I like this one. Hmm. See, there's a bird over here, but that might get covered up. That might get something on it someday, and then the wee birds won't be able to speak to each other anymore. And then I think, what am I going to do with this lovely, I think, is that piano paper or is it braille paper? And it's got this nice pocket on the other side, but I can still use that pocket, even although that might be on top. I like that. I'm going to go with that, but I'm not going to stick it down just now because I want to take my photograph and then what will happen is my little bits of ephemera will go in there and I will write about our lunch. We had soup and salmon, uh, cheese and smoked salmon bagels sitting outside um, the other week and it was lovely. They've got heaters. Uh, outside and uh, I will write down a little story there and the date and yeah 
So that's good. So that's where we'll put it. I'm going to put the little tie ribbon closure in that page so that I know that's where it's to go. Right. So that's me. I hope you enjoyed that video. Where is the other one? Right, so how can something be lost? And it's there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. And if you've got any old envelopes, um, well, now you know what to do with them. Um, Give them a little decorate up with a little bit of easy collage. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. If you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.